here we have an ATM Strouger phone um, it's as you can see fairly old in fact very old um, it's one I picked up I think I picked it up at one of the um, fairs I'm pretty sure it wasn't a boot sale anyhow to say it's quite a nice phone it needs work done on as you'll see when we open it up there's the top of it it's Strouger Automatic um, it's the Automatic Electric Company ATM English made and they were quite a force in telephone manufacturing in this country if you notice the dial there is a space between the finger stop and the zero there's a little bit of significance there because you will notice the same thing on uh, telephones made by the Indian telephone industries which was actually started off by this company who we're seeing now the handset is a normal what would I call a normal handset that would have been fitted to a uh, 232 uh, 300 series phone and was the standard for many years once again their trademark the turn it around the right way is shown in the middle this company also at one time made uh, road traffic signals um, there was them and the other company was Siemens GEC who made signals um, not the same now they're probably all computer controlled but the old ones did use relay systems possibly the same type of relay that you'd find or you had found in a telephone exchange but this is all old hat now which is a pity I'm only grateful that people are interested in the old stuff um, I can remember going through uh, quite a few pictures about lifts and that that, uh, that members have put up and the consensus of opinion is that it's the old ones that bring in the interest and so a lot of those use relays the very old ones the the relays were quite enormous anyhow let's have a look inside as I say this is one which does need a lot of work done up on it we can hinge it open I'm hoping it shows up okay it's not particularly bright I've got a light on you've got your bell circuit in dire need of a clean and really um, needs a lot of work done on it this is the a capacitor which is required to allow uh, the it actually blocks DC but allows AC to pass through on a ringing cycle and that would be wired in series with the two bell coils I won't try moving it because as I say it is all jammed up it does need a very lot of work done on it one thing you do oh, there's another coil there which I'll be honest I, I've got no idea what that's for I don't think it, it's a transmission coil or an anti side tone coil and I'm pretty sure that would have been done on a separate box outside it's like the candlesticks you always had a bell box with those although this has the bell so it might be I'm just not too sure if it is it's nice it means it, it's a self-contained phone turning this over I must admit I like the old ones as opposed to the new I don't know if you can see that but we've got the dial I'm going to turn it over so it's in the sun the sun's just come out my eyes are not too good at the moment I'm waiting for, for a cataracts uh, replacement 
cataracts. There's the dial. Now that is an automatic electric dial. This is not what the, uh, the GPO use. They use what's called a trigger dial. This is the uh, automatic electric dial, which is also found in America and on the Indian phones of this, uh, you know, this, this sort of age. The modern uh, Indian phones use a Japanese job. But there we are, that is the thing. I know I can hold it, I can't, so suffice to say, that's the dial. And um, I'm not, you know, it's, it's a bit awkward, but get a bit closer, you can see the various springs, the off normals, your pulsing springs, pulsing springs, the ones on the right hand side. You've got a circular cam which goes round, and as it goes round, it makes and breaks. Uh, the off normals are there, as soon as you turn the dial, they will op uh, they operate. And away you go. Anyhow, more or less all on on this this one. Can't think of anything else except the fact that it could do with a blooming good overhaul. I think it's all there and it will probably work, but it's just the fact of doing it up, which takes times. There's the the little motif on the front. Strouger phone. Strouger was the gentleman who invented the, uh, the, uh, the two motion selector. He was an undertaker and he was losing a lot of business to a competitor whose wife was on the local switchboard and he said right it's about time we made an automatic switch and that's where the idea came from. The uh, selectors, as I say, I've worked on these for many, many years. They're a bit of history now, which once again is showing my age. But the whole idea was for the selector or switch to step from the dial pulses. So if you dialed, say, a 7, the selector would step up to level 7 and then automatically hunt round the bank for a free outlet on the final selector and that is the last one in the line um, I'm trying to think think what the American term for these are they don't call it a fin final selector but we do over here and the final selector say the last two digits was seven six you'd go up seven and you'd go round six then uh, ringing would be put out to the line and well the rest is history the calls made and on release you have a release magnet if it's a pre-2000 type which would drop the the uh, wipers as they're called out and it would be back to the home position ready to, to go again anyway enough of the history Thanks again for watching. Any comments please make. I'll try and answer them. Uh, it's nice showing these older phones. Because so I'm more interested in the old stuff than, than the new. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Thank you.